Whenever you have a power to a power, you want to multiply the exponents. Let's take this example here to understand why. Here we have 3 squared all to the third power. Well, because I know that to the third power would be multiply it by itself twice, let's do that. So then we'll get 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared, right? Because we have 3 squared to the third, 3 squared times 3 squared times 3 squared. Now, because we know when we multiply having the same base, we could add these together. So we have our exponents 2 plus 2 plus 2, which would give us 3 to the 6th power, right? We did 2 3 times, or 2 times 3. So instead of rewriting it all, we could do 3 to the 2 times 3 to get the same thing, 3 to the 6th power. So whenever you have multiple exponents, you want to multiply them. Let's do a different example. Here we have x cubed y to the 7th all to the 8th power. Remember, we want to multiply our exponents when we have more than one. So let's start with our x. Here we have x to the third to the eighth power. That's going to be x to the three times eight or x to the twenty-four. Next we have y to the seventh to the eighth power. That's going to be y to the seven times eight or y to the fifty-six. And there we go. So all we did was we multiplied each exponent to the the exponent overall, which was 8. Here we have 3 a to the 5th all to the 3rd power. So, when we have a number in front, keep in mind numbers can have exponents too. And since there's no exponent here, we could have a default exponent of 1. So, this is going to be 3 to the 1 power times 3, or 3 to the 3rd power. A common mistake is people multiply 3 times 3 to get 9 rather than multiplying the exponent, which in this case would give us 1 times 3, or 3 to the 3rd power. Next, we have a to the 5th to the 3rd power. That would be a to the 5 times 3, or a to the 15th. If we wanted to simplify this, we could do 3 to the 3rd power, which is 3 times 3 times 3, which would be 27, and then we have a to the 15th. 